Hello everyone, this is Gail from FantasticFreezer.com where you can find everything in a flash. Of course you can use this in your refrigerator as well. This is just a quick video in a demo. I mean we did this on a door, not inside the freezer, so don't be shocked when you see what you're going to see. But um, what we're going to talk about how, is how to assemble one side panel inside your freezer. And of course when you get your, your model in the, uh, and you unpack it and everything, before you start assembling this in your freezer, you're going to want to turn off the cooling, put the products into coolers, get rid of your existing stationary shelves, and wait until the inside of your freezer is room temperature. Okay, room temperature, clean and dry. And then what you're going to do is measure the inside floor to ceiling, take that number, subtract 5 inches, and then divide the result by 6 inches. And that will give you the, uh, and by the way, six inches is the height of these post segments that you'll see in a minute. And the resulting number before any decimals is the number of post segments you're going to need in each of the two posts in your unit side panels. So this is what we're going to talk about one side panel. And you'll do the same thing on the other side panel. So we, you would have seen our other video where we talked about cr uh, crossbars. And crossbars come, they're universal shape. They can be used as a stabilizer at the top, as a header connecting with the posts, and also all the way down as a footer on the floor. Now you see the footer has the wide section you know, supporting it on the floor. And you can see that there's a post segment that slides into that footer. And each one of these post segments is connected with a little prongy thing. I guess it's better called just a prong. There it is, see, prong. And then there's rails that we've just put in there. For example, they fit in the, the gripping grooves, but you don't do that right now. So what we do to assemble this is really simple. Uh, and by the way, you, you do one part. When you do that footer and you put it in there, you want to close the unit door to check that the door closes firmly. If it doesn't, you've got to use that shorter ver version of the footer. So the footer has those eight slots facing up and seven squ square holes facing up. And then you insert those prongs of the two post segments down into those slots. Now, if there's a wall protrusion, let's say you have something sticking out in the sidewall, then you can adjust where you put these posts. You might not want them in exactly the same spots that we've put them in, where we put them. And the left side here is towards the outside of the room, and this side is towards the back wall. Maybe you have to move the, this prong section here back over to one of these other slots just to get rid of a protrusion that's sticking out there in the middle. Okay, so this is just the assembled version. And now I'm going to show you in the next video how do you actually assemble this? How do you get this to work? It's real easy.